Building up in Mark, six minutes, 30 seconds, velocity now reading uh, 14,880 feet per second, altitude uh, 90 nautical miles for Apollo 16, downrange distance uh, 440 nautical miles. Stand by for S4B to orbit. Mark, you have it now. Roger. They're going about 10,000 miles Six minutes, 50 hour, seconds. Delta 40. Roger, Charlie. Young Duke Matting, we now told that they can reach orbit if given a good third stage. Mark, seven minutes, uh, 91 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 496 nautical miles downrange. Mark, seven minutes, 15 seconds, 16 flying almost parallel over the ocean now with the young crew in a pitched down position. Uh, really moving out now for downrange distance. We show Apollo 16, 551 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 17,527 feet per second. That's more than 10,000 miles an hour. At this moment, they have traveled 590 miles. Coming up on center engine shutdown. Roger, and what? Center engine shutdown on time, 7 minutes, 50 seconds. 92 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 620 nautical miles downrange. Still sh showing stable thrust on the other four engines. Uh, they've got about a minute to go in uh, burn time remaining. 16 and 8 minutes, looking good here. That means the center, st the second stage center engine is not burning, but the outboard engines around it still have about 45 seconds of power left. Mark, uh, 8 minutes, uh, 25 seconds. Dean Houston, we saw the PU shift. That looks good. Down here, go for staging. Roger. 8 minutes, 35 seconds. Apollo 16, now 93 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 756 nautical miles downrange. Hold on time now. Roger. That uh, terse response uh, from uh, Apollo 16 Commander John Young. Uh, we're at uh, 8 minutes 52 seconds. Apollo 16 now 807 nautical miles downrange, 92 nautical miles in altitude. Velocity now reading uh, 21,642 feet per second. <clears throat> now the big S4B engine, that's a very important one, has to ignite. In about another 10 seconds you'll hear them talking about that. Stand by for mode four capability. Mark, you have mode four now. Okay, there was uh, S2 shut down. Roger. And we have S4B ignition. Mark, down minus 30 seconds is good on the S4B. Roger. The uh, young crew has used up two-thirds of their Saturn stages on the way to orbit. Uh, we see good performance on the third stage, the S4B. That uh, Mode 4 report says Apollo 16 can achieve orbit on spacecraft power only. Nine minutes, uh, 50 seconds, Apollo 16, 93 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 1,011 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading at 23,654 feet per second. Better than 13,000 miles an hour. Mark, uh, 10 minutes, 18 seconds, a status check in mission control uh, for orbit. Uh, Apollo 16, Houston, your go for orbit. Uh, predicted cutoff, 1-1 one, one plus 4 9 -er. Roger, 11.49. They're still using that Mark, 10 minutes, 40 seconds. A predicted time of shutdown, 11 minutes, uh, 49 seconds. 
Apollo 16, now 93 nautical miles in altitude, 1192 nautical miles downrange. So in less than a minute, they'll turn that S-4B engine off for a while. Mark 11 minutes, uh, showing a build-up in velocity now, reading uh, 24,621 feet per second and accelerating. Mark 11 minutes, 10 seconds. That's the firing room here at Cape Kennedy. Velocity now reading at 24,887 feet per second. You can see the vice president on your screen above the man in the white shirt. of the desired speed. Uh, That's where they press all the buttons in orbit. Go. Less than 20 seconds now from time of shutdown. Now they're going to turn that engine off. Mark 11 minutes, 40 seconds, Apollo 16, now 1,400 nautical miles downrange. At 16,000 miles an hour. Zico, right on. So it's all working well up there, right on the dock. That was shut down, uh, right on the money. Pitch one is coming off. Now in, in about another minute, they are going to be in a parking orbit. I think maybe they're in that now. And they will stay in this parking orbit for a while. In about two hours and 20 minutes. Mark, uh, 12 minutes, 25 seconds. Houston, their range safety system is safe. The orbit is go. So they're in orbit. Oh, it's just beautiful up here looking out the window. It's just really fantastic. And the uh, thing worked like a champ. Sure did. Hey, we copy now 62, and uh, your orbit by radar is 95 by 90. Mark, uh, 12 minutes, 54 seconds. That enthusiastic report from orbit was from spacecraft commander John Jung. Apollo 16 in uh, what appears to be a safe orbit. Uh, preliminary numbers show a 94 or 95 nautical miles by 90 nautical miles. The uh, Saturn V, once again, an apparent victor in its uh, tug-of-war struggle uh, with the Earth's uh, forces of gravity. We're at uh, 13 minutes, uh, 20 seconds ground elapsed time, and Apollo 16 is in orbit. In about two hours and 20 minutes, they will fire that S-4B engine again and they'll run it for six minutes, and that will boost their speed from 14,000 miles an hour to 23,000 miles an hour, if you can comprehend. Houston, the booster looks good. It's reconfigured for orbit. And at that point, that'll be around 3.30 p.m. today, Eastern Standard Time, uh, they will head for the moon. They are in a parking orbit now, uh, and they will burn the engine again and head for the moon. Uh, my calculation is that should happen about 3.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. And uh, as far as we can tell now, everything worked perfectly. John Young said this thing worked like a gem. Here's the, that's the Vice President. Administration's interest has not diminished and as Chairman of the Space Council, Mine continues to accelerate as I look forward to 17 and to the Skylab launchings to follow. What's going to come after that will depend to a great extent on the continuation of your expertise and the great way you discharge your responsibilities. But you know that the people of this country still have that explorer spirit. They still have that tremendous sense of urgency for the United States to be the leader of the world in this kind of technological advance. So congratulations again to, for a superb job, and I never fail to marvel at the way you bring these things off. We're all with you, and we appreciate what you've done. A sentiment shared by many of us. We do indeed never cease to marvel at the way they bring these things off. They have broken, they brought it off today perfectly. A few small problems, easily handled, uh, nothing very difficult at all. A brilliant launch, beautiful weather, uh, punched right through the clouds there. They 
There's some things that I find incredible about the size of that. Here you've got something that weighs six and a half million pounds. And a minute and 20 seconds after it leaves the pad, with a sort of a great slowness about it, it's going a thousand miles an hour. Um, many, many incredible things. 